Hello family, grace to you. Once again, this is Greg coming to you from faithsmessenger.com. The title of today's message is Multiple Personality Disorders Within the Church. Multiple Personality Disorders Within the Church. I want to preface what I'm going to say in this video by saying that in no way does the content or the material in this video in no way is it intended for us to take it and judge others or to point the fingers at others. The content in this video, as in all of my videos, is directed toward the hearer, toward the watcher, toward the person that's enjoying or partaking of the video at the time. It's a, it's a vehicle where we can examine ourselves and examine the relationship that we have with God on a personal level and not to point the finger at anyone else. So with that being said, I would like to ask you, what is it that you may be doing? Where is it that you may be going? And who is it that you may be fellowshipping with or spending time with that you would be embarrassed for the world at large or for your church brethren to know about? I would like to ask you if that is the case in any one of those scenarios, my question is why? Why would you be embarrassed? Do you feel the need to put on one persona at church and another when you're with your homies and when you're out in the, the neighborhood? I'd like to read a definition here to you if I may. It's taken from Webster's Dictionary and the definition I'm reading is of multiple personality disorder. That definition says, a disorder that is characterized by the presence of two or more distinct and complex entities or personality states, each of which becomes dominant and controls behavior from time to time. So again, I ask you, do you operate from two minds? Do you operate, do you have a church persona and do you have a street persona or a casual persona or a work persona? Are you living a double life? You know, there's a lot to be said for transparency. I have a, a business that I run from home and I get phone calls all through the night. I get phone calls 24 seven. Um, most of these calls go straight to voicemail. Uh, I'm out to dinner with my wife from time to time and my phone is constantly ringing or I'm getting text messages. And I don't have any qualms about leaving my phone with my wife. I don't have any qualms about leaving my phone around the house because I, I, I'm transparent. There's nothing that I'm doing that I would be concerned if my wife knew about. But there are a lot of guys who can't say that. There are a lot of guys who can't leave their phones unprotected for whatever reason, I'm not gonna get into the reasons why, but they don't feel comfortable leaving their phones around the house. So, as I said earlier, there's a lot to be said about transparency, living a transparent life. Can you say when the world looks at you, when your church family looks at you, what you see is what you get? If you can't say that, I would encourage you to do whatever it takes to merge your two or three or four, whatever, how many lives that you're living or that you're leading. Begin to merge those lives into one. Live, strive to live a transparent life. Try, strive to live a life that when the world looks at you, they can say, wow, that guy, what you see is what you get. He says exactly what's on his mind. He says what he means. He means what he says. He lives a life totally and completely dedicated to Christ. So I want to leave you with that today, and I'd like to thank you for joining me, and I'd like to encourage you and invite you, if you haven't joined us in our YouTube community yet, to do so by clicking on the red subscribe button on your screen. By doing so, you'll receive notifications when new videos such as this one are posted. I'd also like to invite you to join us in our blog community at faithsmessenger.com. Now at Faith's Messenger, we currently have over 550 individual blog posts on the blog, which address a myriad of different topics. Now these are real life, relevant, everyday topics that each and every one of us has to deal with. So once again, that address is faithsmessenger.com. 
Now with all that's been said today, I'd like to leave you with a question. Now this question can be posed to anything you may be going through today in life. I'd like for you to ask yourself, is anything impossible with God? Have a great day, family. I love you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.